Yo, this is Drawmancer here, and today we are back with some more Excel Survival. Um, a little bit of stuff happened while we were gone. Um, I made some slime leggings from Slime Fun, which gives me speed boost 3, so now I can run super fast. Um, also, I have made do, done some more research with Slime Fun here, and I've gotten into uh, beef jerky, which uh, allows me to make beef jerky. Uh, pretty straightforward, it's just steak and salt which gives you more saturation uh, than normal beef. So, uh, that's cool. Also, um, I have breeded tons of cows over uh, here. And so, I um, that's where I got all my steak. Uh, and along with that, I got a bunch of leather. And so, we finally were able to make enough books to make all our bookshelves to uh, do enchantments. So um, we're going to finally actually set up our enchantment table here. Uh, we don't have any more space. I still need to extend my base some, which we'll be doing hopefully soon, um, so that I have more rooms, because I'll have a room for my slime fun stuff, and then a room for some enchanting, and other things like that. Um, so we'll get into that um, maybe actually today. I don't know. Um, but for now, we'll just set, shed, uh, set up a little makeshift thing here. Whoops. Okay. So we'll set this here. I actually don't have 30 levels with me, so uh, I won't actually be able to enchant anything good yet. Let's see if this is enough for level 30 enchantments. Wow, it actually might not. Hmm. Let's make one more bookshelf here. Because that's all we have enough for. Actually, do we have more leather? Yeah, we have more leather. And we have more sugar cane. So we'll just make some more paper. do that. Okay. And then we'll put that in there. Okay. Now hopefully we have enough. And bookshelves actually act as storage compartments that we can put paper and books and maps into. Uh, but maybe Stone hose just can't get level 30 enchantments. Let's grab an iron sword. Uh. Oh, wait. Um. Let's put it right there. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can make level 30 enchantments. So, um. That's cool. Also, um, that's not where that goes. While we were away, um, Todd came back and set some more stuff down. He made a little sheep head outside my window, and he says, Hello again, just thought I might look in on you. <laughs> what a pun. Just to be safe, you know. Anyways, I have a mission for you. Good luck. So he left us with a book and quill, and I'm guessing we have a little thing here. So, to Jaromancer, here is your mission. There has been told of an ancient treasure hidden somewhere in the desert. You are the chosen one. You must find it. Good luck. Objective, find ancient treasure. P.S. The coordinates are... Well, that's stupid. It tells us the coordinates. And then, yay. If you read this, you're cool. Todd rules. So, um, I guess we'll go find this. 
Okay. Now we are legitimately at negative 4, 5, 1, negative 78, and there is no desert. Negative four. Oh, there's a sign. I couldn't find a desert. Sue me. Okay. Ten leather. Okay, cool. And we need leather too because we can make. We need. We just keep running out of leather. Okay, so we'll take the sugar cane and we'll just leave the cobble. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have we're building lamps here. I'm um, at spawn. So let's see here. I had some slabs with me, but I don't know what happened to them. Okay. And um, so we're gonna do it like this. And then we're going to have these trap doors around them. Around these uh, lamps here. And we're going to make a bunch of these hanging down. And that's not what I wanted. Let's see here. that. There's some more boots of the Traveler. And then our inventory is full at filling up. And a lot of zombies. Hello zombies. And okay, just throw that out because we have a lot of those. I'll get to my bed here. There we go. Let's actually get the last of this and we'll shove that in there um, okay and then I think we'll take all this stuff down now uh, wood mobs throw that in there wool yes we do need wool um, and then throw that in there mobs throw that in there Miscellaneous armor. Okay. And yeah, all that wool that we got from... That we'll get from uh, that sheep out there is going to be really useful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean up that sheep and then I'll be back when we are going to do something else. The next thing we're going to do this episode is get in to some more slime fun stuff. Um, so today we are going to be trying to make Damascus steel armor. So in order to make Damascus steel we need uh, carbon which requires a compressor. So we build a compressor like this. Um, so I have most of this stuff ready except I need another brick fence. Next episode, I'm going to expand my base and get a slime fun room up, so I'm not 
building everything all over the place because right now this is a mess um, okay and then grab that okay and then uh, see here okay carbon so we put eight coal in the compressor so let's just throw all this coal in got quite a bit of carbon there um, okay Um, next thing we need is steel ingots, so we need carbon, iron dust, and iron ingots in the smeltery. So, um, actually let's make a bit more carbon. In fact, let's just get all of our coal here and see what we can do. Okay. Um, let's make one more bit. Okay. And then we need some iron dust. Uh, what else do we need? and then iron, okay. So we'll make 10. Uh, there we go, okay. And then, let's see here, how do we Okay, carbon's in the middle. And then we'll do that. The server's being a bit slow here. Okay. So... There we go, we have some Damascus steel ingots. Alright, that made Damascus steel. But we were only trying to make... Huh. Well, that's a bug. But it works in our favor, actually. Um, huh. So we need to get a bit more iron dust. So let's see here. I have some more iron ore here. Put this in the crusher. Got some iron dust, and then we need some more uh, iron. I think I have some plain iron in this chest here. Okay. And then...
Oh, I see what's happening here. It's not a bug. When you make steel, so the recipe for steel is like this, and then the recipe for Damascus steel is exactly the same, except you have a uh, you have a steel ingot added into the mix. And so we're making steel ingots, and then it's making Damascus ingots with one with the steel ingots that we're making. So see now we have Damascus steel. So steel Damascus steel. Huh. Interesting. So let's make our Damascus steel chest plate here. Wait, what did I... Huh. Oh, dang it. I made it in the real crafting table instead of the iron. Okay, I'm going to give myself a mulligan because I did not mean to do that. Okay, we're back and we have our Damascus steel here again. And this zombie Pikmin decided to stop by. Came out of the nether. Um, okay, so this is where you're supposed to make the armor. Bam. Okay, there we go. And even though this gives us uh, less armor bars, like, uh, you know, right above the hearts, uh, it actually offers more protection. So we will retire our old diamond chest plate here. And then I think we're going to, let's make even more. We have enough steel Damascus steel ingots now to make our helmet. So let's do that. And then we'll throw those in there. And here's our Damascus steel helmet. So we'll throw that on. And we'll retire our diamond helmet. Also, we've reached, whoops, we've reached 30 levels, so I'm going to enchant this bow here. Hopefully it's a good enchantment. Okay, what do we get? We got punch one, power one. That's pretty good. Um, and then I have a book somewhere. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's, it has infinity. But I don't actually know... like how much it's gonna cost okay so it's gonna cost 19 levels so when we have 19 levels then we'll enchant this bow so that it will have infinity on it and then we'll only have to have one arrow with us okay and let's go to sleep here real quick oh. I think we're gonna have to kill the zombie pigman which is not good because if he gets mad at us a bunch. Okay. And then before we end the episode here, um, I have a couple more things to show off. Um, this here I made. Uh, this is one another slime fun machine. Um, this is a sawmill, and it lets you get eight planks out of wood and logs instead of uh, four, so it doubles the output. And this is an ore washer, which you can use to get uh, various things. I used it to get salt so that I could make this beef jerky here. Um, and so that's slime fun update stuff. Um, and then on the spawn building here, I kind of have a design set up here. I have a fountain in the middle, and then I think I'm going to use this uh, cyan glass up uh, up here, and I'm going to build these kind of wooden pillars around, and then have leaves right underneath the windowsill there. And then I decided to add a door on both sides because uh, it's 
kind of annoying not to have that. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll finish this up, this room up soon. But the primary focus of the next episode will be uh, making our uh, base here bigger. I'm going to tunnel down that way, make some more hallways, and then make another room like this. Um, and we'll put all of our slime fun stuff in there. I think we'll actually use the... Um, let's see here. do that and then I think we're actually going to use the drill to hollow out space and then we'll use the builder uh, to build up our walls for the um, for the extra parts of the base and this machine here is making all the stuff that we'll need to build more of the base so I just have I'll just have to make like one more trip to the nether to get some more uh, uh, courts and then we'll be all set and we'll be able to expand and not have all this junk sitting around everywhere we'll actually have it have a place for it and then at some point we're gonna also have to make a place for um, uh, our uh, enchantment table here um, and then at some point when we get around to it, I'm going to make a furnace um, machine thing where you, there's like a chest, uh, a chest right here, and you throw stuff in there, and then it gets taken, sucked up and taken back into like a bunch of furnaces back there, and then they'll smelt them, and then shoot them out into this furnace right here. So all I ever have to do is just stick uh, coal and... Uh, the stuff I want to smelt in the chest here. I won't ever have to bother going through all the furnaces and filling them all up. And I think I'll have like eight or something furnaces back there, so it'll smelt things a lot faster as well. And so, yeah, that's about all we, I have for this episode. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned I got these slime leggings, which give you uh, a speed boost. I think I did. Um, but there's actually an issue with this because boots of the traveler give you speed when you get damaged but they give you like speed two or something like that and so it actually slows you down when I get hit um, actually I think boots of the traveler actually give you speed four so they actually don't speed you down uh, slow you down but the issue is this uh, ninja katana here which when you hit something um, because of uh, fervor five there when you hit a mob then you get speed but it's speed 2 or like speed 1 or something like that so I actually slow down when I use this with ninja katana and as much as I like this with ninja katana I might have to switch to something else or just not use slime ligands because I can already go so fast using my swift uh, ninja katana by using the boost and uh, then the extra boost I get from hitting mobs and running quickly and then getting hit and I run quickly with these boots so I already have quite a few speed modifiers so I don't know if I actually need these slime lichens I might just make uh, uh, Damascus steel lichens but I don't know I'll deal with those issues later um, for now I will see you in the next episode later <laughs>